Hello, thank you for joining me today. I am Lisa of Lisa Bow Vintage and just wanted to share with you some fun and beautiful items my friend Claudia had been uh, collecting for me in 2021. I'd say for about six months or so. Uh, there was a time where she was finding different things that she knew I was looking for or may have been interested in and she had sent them to me at the end of 2021 and it was such a fun unboxing to find all these new treasures some of which were gifted to me from a birthday and some of them were things that I had actually purchased from her so that she could send them to me which was very lovely of her to do because shipping from one country to another is, is never an easy time <laughs> even if it's from the states so just wanted to share them with you and one of the first things that I had seen was this beautiful postcard or it's more like a note card from this beautiful artist. I know I may not say the name correctly. Please uh, give me a little bit of grace. Uh, Meli Obend. I don't know if I said that correctly. And then on the back of the card was a beautiful little note from Claudia. And from this artist as well, because she had gone to Germany in September, so she had got that note card. She had also put in this beautiful magnet so that's been on my fridge so that was very pretty love that oh that hat is just glorious also too i am a collector of compacts uh, that have carried either rouge or powder or some kind of makeup product in it and sometimes when you purchase or receive a compact the mirror can be broken so she had this mirror sheet that she had sent me. So I'm going to be able to cut it up into the different shapes of the compacts that I need a mirror for. So that was very thoughtful. Something that I was interested in, and I hadn't purchased it, but I'd seen it among my travels and I was kind of him and hawing about it, is actually something very interesting and slightly part of my family history. And that is an Eastern Star Compact. Nope, I'm holding it wrong. There it is. So the Eastern Star, I actually have a little bit of a write-up on it because my memory is not very dependable. Um, the Order of the Eastern Star is a Masonic side organization body open to men and women established in the mid to late 1800s based on teachings from the Bible but open to all religious beliefs. And I believe there's also philanthropy and, and things like that also involved in this. And my great great grandfather if I have it right when he came from England he had uh, begun creating that or he had brought it from England to Eastern Ontario and he had uh, been part of starting a chapter there so I thought that was really interesting and I thought what part of uh, a commemorative way to my family to have something like this I'm not part of the order myself or anybody in my family Nobody's been part of it since my great grandmother, but it's still very interesting to be a part of something very, very neat like that. And just wanted to have something to go with my family heirlooms that was very close to that. Also, what was really interesting that was in the box and uh, Claudia, she had actually purchased a lot of brooches from somebody. And inside was, I think I'm gonna take it out of the box just to make it easier, was I believe it's celluloid and it is a brooch and it's a Western inspired inspired brooch that had been broken but she asked if I'd be interested in it and it is this it's two pieces so what's to happen is the bullhead is supposed to hang off of the saddle and what had happened is she kindly actually sent me another brooch piece so if I wanted, I could, I could put this together or I could actually create this into another brooch, which I thought was a thoughtful part of the idea of, of what I could do with it because it's, it's nice to have options. And I love anything with a Western theme. When I was growing up, my mom introduced me to country music from Garth Brooks, George Strait, Brooks and Dunn, I mean, Dwight Yoakam, all of that. So it kind of brings me back to a little bit of the 90s when that was just part of my childhood as well. Also, what had happened is there are online auctions that are really interesting to be a part of. And there's one particular lady, Beth, who's very lovely and she has these online auctions on Facebook. And Claudia had introduced me to these auctions. 
and being in Canada, Claudia offered to have whatever I had won in this auction sent with her order and then she would just send it everything all to me, which is what had happened. And I was the winner of three separate items, which is actually very exciting. One of which is this pretty ring, kind of like a strawberry, not typically a vintage item, but I do like to wear rings. So, and it does, it does fit very nicely. I've never been a, a rhinestone sparkly person, but since I got into vintage in the last year, I have just been getting me into the sparkles. And then another thing I had won from that one auction is this brooch as well, multicolor, which is so pretty. Oh, the way the light catches it. Oh, yes, Mina, I hear you. Oh, that's my cat. Mina, would you like to say hello? Hi. Okay, all right, eat your foot. She's just licking her paw there. So <laughs> that's a brooch there. And another thing I had one in the same auction. I've been a part of Beth's auctions before, but this is the only time I had them sent over to Claudia, I think. I think it was only the one time. But there is a company called Trafari, and they had made different accessories and things like that. And these are probably more like 80s style. They're not as old as some of the other accessories, but I love anything to do with with cards. The card game pr cribbage is actually my favorite card game to play. So anything to do with like the hearts, the spades, the clubs, the diamonds, I love that. And I just thought these were just too precious and they're just a push pin. They're not necessarily vintage, but I think that if I wore them in a cluster or wore them in like a vintage inspired outfit, it might look, you know, very neat. There were also two items that Claudia had gifted me for my birthday, which was very kind and, and a pleasant surprise. And my favorite color is green. And she had gifted me this beautiful brooch with the two-toned green crystals or rhinestones. That's very pretty and a gorgeous, almost like a champagne tone. It's not gold, but it's not silver either. And that's absolutely stunning. I was so surprised when I saw that. And then another one she had surprised me with, and I actually wore this on Christmas Eve when I went to work, is is this one. I, this one is just stunning. I, the way the light catches it, it's just gorgeous. And I couldn't wait to wear one of these, one of either of these green brooches at Christmas. And this one complemented my outfit. And I just wanted to wear that because even, even the little crystals around, they're not white. They're they are picking up tones of, of greens and blues and, oh, just so stunning. And last but not least, there was another big parcel in the box. And Claudia was looking for these, these shoes. They're by Remix, which are a beautiful um, reproduction shoe company of vintage. And when she saw them, they weren't in her size, but they were in mine. And she asked if I would be interested in purchasing them, and then she would send them to me in my box. And I said, yes, please. They were an amazing deal. Um, I guess Remix, they can go, you know, anywhere up to $175. And these were on, oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember if it was Poshmark or Mercari. Oh, hi, Mina. Mina, Mina, hi. That's that's Mina. She's my main coon. Hi. Come say hi. And uh, we've got a visitor. <laughs> so with these shoes, I my heart melted. Green, like I said, is my favorite color, and to find a pair of green vintage reproduction shoes is just amazing. I would not have had access to purchase these myself, being in Canada. Sometimes we don't have access to purchasing things on international or US sites. So the, the price was just right. I think they were under $20 on the resale site. And Claudia just kindly purchased them for me on my behalf. I have since paid her for them. 
but I just thought they were gorgeous. The color doesn't do them justice. I don't know if you can really tell, but oh, there you go. They're, and I'll show a clip of, of me wearing them and they fit. They're in, in basically brand new condition. Like it's, they were maybe worn a few times, if that. I mean, there is some scuff on the bottom, but aside from that, the inside is impeccable. You can even see Remix. I have looked for this brand in different colors and the closest thing I could find was the brown. So I'm not sure if among your online shopping travels, you may uh, be able to find a different color, this one. But, and they are true to size with the, I, I have a slightly wider foot. So I did have to take a stretcher to these just overnight and they are totally fine now. And they are, they're perfect and, and they're stunning. And I have a Life Stride green purse in patent and um, suede. And I have yet to, compare the two and, and see if they match. But if they're a complimentary match, then that'll be nice to have a green pair of shoes to match my purse. So those are the items that Claudia had sent me that I had purchased through her or that she had gifted me for my birthday and the beautiful um, traveling items from Germany. And I just wanted to thank you so very much for joining me today. It's lovely to be part of such an open and vintage community where we can share the different things that we find along the way or that are gifted or, you know, that we find throughout different places around the world. And thank you for being a part of my world today. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're safe, you're taking care and you are warm and cozy because in Southern Ontario, it is very snowy here. And just a week ago, we received two to four feet of snow and it has been a time, <laughs> it's been a time. Shoveling and being stuck in snow and snow days, they have, they had arrived. So um, please, you know, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. Would love to hear your thoughts. And I appreciate you joining me today and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Take care.